Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel. This is the finale of the 668 building series. In this video, we will put everything together. If you are new to the channel, be sure to check out the other videos in the series. I'll leave a link to them in the description. So here's what the board looked like where we last left off. We're going to start by trying to fold all of the wires down to lie flat against the board. I'm trying to evenly distribute everything so that it will fit better. I realize now that I could have used a lot less wire and wired it a lot more cleanly, but it's fine. Next, we're going to clip off the ends of the wires from the Teensy controller with this bolt cutter. And we're also going to clip off the standoffs from the bottom of the case to free up some more space for the wires. Thank you to Infinite Offset for this idea. Now it's back to playing around with the wires until everything fits and eventually it all comes together. We will be using these screws to hold the keyboard together. I'm leaving four of the holes empty because it doesn't seem like having a screw there is necessary and to save time if I ever have to open up the keyboard again. There's a huge gap from the plastic warping, but at this point the rest of the keyboard is so scuffed that I'm cool with it. And now we can put on keycaps. It's really just this 
spacebar and the other stabilized keys that don't sound that good. Um, here's what like the board sounds without those keys. It's actually really nice. <laughs> Or at least I think so, because this is actually the only mechanical keyboard I've ever heard in person. Regardless, I'm very happy with the result and I definitely learned a lot throughout the process. Thank you so much for all of your support of the series. This is not really the end, I still want to make a few aesthetic upgrades to the keyboard and I'll probably make a few more videos on it as well. But thanks again for watching, leave a like and comment down below if you enjoyed this video and be sure to subscribe for more content. See you next time.